don't remember who's on camera at all. Cool, let's just look. Let's do it. Oh! Alright. Zidridge. Calvin's back. He's been doing well. Like, we saw him We saw him lose, but he's been winning the rest of them. Yep. So. Calvin's back, bringing the Strom. And actually, Calvin was like, hey, I've already been on camera. Is there anybody else that needs to be on camera? <laughs> the Strom. <laughs> Uh, and he's like, actually, Jason hasn't been on camera. <laughs> you don't. He, you didn't want to watch uh, Gift Strom tonight, guys. Um, so Jason's gonna be bringing the dredge. So dredge has not been as popular after the recent banning, right, of Golgari Grave Troll. Got unbanned in modern. And then Wizards was like, hey, listen, Dredge players. We have a cool card that we're going to print for you. It's called Cathartic Reunion. Uh-huh. Don't know if you're familiar with what this guy does. But you get a discard, two cards, draw three cards. For each draw, you can dredge away cards if you have, of course, that dredge ability from a creature or a land or... You know, sorcery, whatever you might have in your graveyard to let you do that. Golgari Grave Troll lets you dredge six. And it was insanely good in this list because you could be able to get a crazy amount of power out very early. Well, yeah, I mean, like, right, Golgari Grave Troll gets unbanned, dredge <laughs> becomes a thing again. It uh, People were trying it out, and it was, it was all right. Yeah. At best. And then... They said cathartic reunion, guys. And I, I guess maybe the question I have is why <laughs> they they knew that cathartic <laughs> reunion was going to be a card. So why unban it in the first place? Yes. Well, I guess they. I don't know if. Okay, so it was part uh like cathartic reunion pushed it over the edge because it like people were, were trying it before cathartic reunion uh, because of the. Um, Prized Amalgam. Exactly. Prized Amalgam got printed, and then they're like, oh, look at this. This is great. And then, you know, you just get stuck, and you're like, well, now we're going to accelerate you out. Right. You get wow. Whoa. <laughs> All right. All right, so let's do this. Now, the question is, is did we tell Jason about our, uh, yeah, Insulin Neonates, the other one? Yes, and all coming the, from the they, shadows yep. block. Did we tell Jason about our our graveyard? I uh, this was. is when I when I tried to to say stuff about placement without giving stuff away. Ah, like yes. And you're like, wow, spoiler man, alert. you're a super scumbag. Yeah, spoiler <laughs> alert. Got it. I remember now. <laughs> so Calvin's gonna run away for a sec. Yeah. Uh, this is Jason's first time on camera. First time on camera. I want to say this is his first time at the shop. Yeah, I want to say it modern. is, but I'll I would be say, safe and say that it is. I will it say it's the first time playing modern at the shop within two years. Oh, okay, all right. We could say that because we have the data to prove that. Right. <laughs> yeah, we can, we can back we that can up. We can back that information up for you. All right, Scry, but yeah, he he's bringing Dredge. I think he's I think we're gonna see him more often. Because yeah, he said he was he's, gonna try to come he out. He said he seemed interested. He likes the competitive He's one of those players, metagame. I believe, that's up in the West Virginia area, and okay. said that his shop, in particular, is not as competitive for modern. Yeah. Uh, Faithless looting off of a gemstone mine. We're already started. Right in the glare. Off to the races. Right in the glare. Oh. Less glare. That is a uh, conflagrate. And the s imp is the other one. Oh, stinkweed imp. Yep. Okay. All right. So we got a serum vision. I draw leave for card. twenty minutes. Come back and dredge is on camera. I love this store. <laughs> it's my local game store too. 
Here's a stink we did. We're going to dredge five. So this is, yeah, our, our dredge in here. One, two, three, four, and five. Another conflagrate. I see... Narcomoeba comes Narcomoeba, back. And, and that's a blood gas. It is. Okay. So landfall trigger, he can come back. Trigger. Yeah. Well, let's get this guy. Mm -hmm. City of Brass. Another pain train for him. And he says, I'll pass. Ew. Do you guys enjoy more or less competitive stores? Uh, well, I'm bad at magic, but I don't think that I would enjoy a less competitive store than I'm in now. Here's a guy with Electromancer. I am a very competitive person. You? <laughs> it's a shock, I know. No way, here's life from the low. So I really enjoy our shop. And I, to be honest, I think that our shop in particular has gotten easily doubled in skill since we started the stream. A it's lot a, of players. It's have, a big tout. I, you know, I feel that a lot of players have learned by being able to watch the stream uh -huh. and have the discussions that we have in chat, and even just getting people that don't play at the shop watch the stream and be able to put their input and insight into particular matchups and particular decks definitely makes everyone better. And after doing it for almost two years, I would say we've probably doubled in skill. Mm -hmm. But. Now, I'm pretty sure that the Narcomoeba is a 1-1, one, one, and that Bloodgast is a 2, right? A 2-1 two, one, and a 1-1, one, one. you are correct. And he took 1 to cast something out of his graveyard. The City of Brass. Mm -hmm. I've been listening to you talk, so I've been trying to... I know, I sometimes... I yeah, just... it's alright. Steam Vents, Calvin's a 15. <laughs> I'm going to do my best here. Alright, Brawl Oh, pass. did he uh, cast that... Um... Con 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 conflict rate. That yeah. one. On Alright, we're going to dredge Stinkweed Imp again. Another Here's five. five. Golgari Grave Thug? Thug. Oh, Golgari Thug. Golgari Thug replaced the Grave Troll. Right. So, no prized amalgam shenanigans yet. Is that another city of brass? Oh, maybe the first one was that the red green pain land. And maybe this one says no. Or maybe they're both just city of brass and just different arts for them. We're gonna say it is. <laughs> no Mix okay, it is mismatch. So All he's right. gonna lose two off of that. Go to 17, and he'll come 3 across to Calvin, putting Sal Calvin at 12. Ops. It's a serum business. Do I want that? <laughs> Best art serum, too. Eh. <laughs> Is it? Is it really, though? Slight of hand. Let's look at two. Pick one. I see a ritual. I'm thinking of the ritual here. I don't. I can't really see what the second card. It's a serum. It. Oh, I mean, he already put one down. Why not get the? Well, okay. Oh. He must already have rituals in his hand then. Gotta be. All rituals. Wow. On the bottom, yeah. I guess he must have a lot. Dredge the Stinkweed Imp. Loam. Life in the loam. <laughs> Is, is it every time City of Brass is tapped, do you take damage? Mm hmm Okay, so he's he's at a much lower life total than that. I'm going to say 14. All right. Here comes five. Eh. 
And this isn't even like a crazy no amount of damage that the dredge player can can bring. Yeah, he's gotten some poor some poor dredge. Yeah. Calvin can go off though. He could. If he had a creature here, like like any of his reducers, you play a land. I mean, he. I see he's got gifts, right? The thing is, I don't see any metamorphoses or any draw spells or anything like that. Well, he, he was putting all of oh, the draw ones, okay. Yeah. I don't see a creature here. Um, he has that, like, Noxious Revival and things like that. He's got two Rituals, a Gifts, and a Grape Shot. So, like, he's... I mean, this isn't... I don't know, like... Do you try it here? And just, like, try to go off? I mean, at this... What are the chances that you're dead? I mean, you all, I, you can sit here and shoot all his creatures here. Right? And do that. Make three red mana. Make some more red mana. Alright, now we're casting gifts. These are the cards that I would like to have. So it looks like a ritual, actually two rituals are going to hit the bin. We got a metamorphose and a past in flames is what we're keeping. Calvin gonna shuffle up here after the gifts. I feel like Calvin's under feels like he's probably pressured to try and go off this turn. Uh, so Metamorphos is gonna get him a blue and a red or two blue. Ah, okay, gotcha. Okay. Draws a grape shot. I'm not quite sure of the storm count. I think it's probably around three or four. Yeah, I feel like it's just a value gifts to try and set up for another turn possibly. Coming from Mark. Yeah, I still feel like he's just under the gun. So he's going to throw this grape shot out. And kill the creatures to protect his life total. What was this storm count at? I don't know. I think it was four or five. So one Probably, to each and yeah. like two to Jason? Yeah. Well, 
So if he's going <clears> to... <throat> Here, I'd like to get some land so I can at least get all that those sure. landfall so he takes creatures. Two more. All right, blood ghasts for six, and then and that's the thing about the dredge deck that maybe Calvin just hasn't he hasn't seen it, so he doesn't realize that. I don't know. I, I, I don't know how Calvin gets out of that one. Right. Um, because, you know, he tried to storm off, ended up just kind of wasting... A lot of his stuff. A lot of his resources to kill off creatures that were just going to come back and bite him the next turn. So the empty the warrants is really nice here, too. Um, because you can clog up the board... Um, so I like actually bringing both in here. Yep. Um, because you don't even have to do Storm Up that much. You can just be like, you know. Five. Play, play a Serum Visions or a Sleight of Hand that turn. Do a Ritual kind of thing. You know, like, oh, maybe a Mana Morphos. And, and yeah, like Storm Count five. And here's just a couple of Goblins, like. Now, Jason could have some graveyard hate of his own, um, like Leyline of the Void, so his opponent's stuff gets exiled and his stuff doesn't. True. Um, you know, he could have things like that available to him. Like, he was doing a good job of killing off the creatures and things along those nature. Um, he had very weird dredge there, so... Like, it, his, his dredging away, his deck was not really coming up with too much action for him. Which is, you know, sometimes that's how the dredge deck, it just, that's how the cards are for it. Right. Right, and we've talked about that with the Storm deck. Sometimes that's how it goes. So while we're waiting, um, just want to remind everybody that this is, of course, a weekly show that we do here at Modern Magic Mondays. Um, four to five rounds every single Monday starting at 6.30 p.m. Eastern. We do ten weeks of regular play, and then whoever has the best points or score after those ten weeks gets to play in a top eight invitational uh, for a chance to win some cash money, some store credit. We do some interviews, some other kind of fun stuff. You know, if you guys like what you see here, feel free to hit the follow, subscribe, stuff like that. Of course, we've got a YouTube channel dedicated to the stream to post up um, all the VODs from each round. If you miss any of the rounds or you want to look up particular decks or matchups, you have a better chance of being able to do that over on the YouTube channel. Uh, but definitely a great way to kind of show support for Modern as a format, if you will. Yo, dances, what's going on, dude? The Waffle Nader. So I've been playing some more WoW. Yeah? There's this whole big thing going around. So at BlizzCon, they announced Vanilla WoW is going to be coming back, right? Um, which got everybody, like, all hyped up about it. And so there's now... A bunch of servers and like streamers and stuff like that that have started this thing called Project 70, Project 60, and Project 70. So I'm doing this Project 70 thing. I tried the Iron Man challenge, you yeah. know, did that. I need to upload the VODs for that. But uh, Project 70 stuff is you don't get any um, like cheats in a way, mm -hmm. right? you don't get to use any of the heirloom gear that gives you extra experience, things like that. You have to sit here and work it the hard way. Basically, like, you were playing WoW well back during the Burning Crusade when you had to level up to 70. You don't get to use your mount until level 40, even though now you can use it at 20 and stuff, so it's like a interesting way to play the game again. Um, so, trying out that stuff. It's, it's fun. You know, going through and re-leveling stuff. Because a lot of the, s the leveling zones changed after Cataclysm, because, like, Cataclysm broke the world and everything. 
And so now it's like going back through starting zones that I hadn't played in a long time, because most of the time I'm like, oh, I'm just going to level this character up to max when an expansion comes out, and I'm not going to start a new character. So I've been trying that, but I might start, you know, streaming that up. You Look know, at you. Doing that whole stream game. But there's, you know, more rules to Project 70 and stuff. Uh, like, it's actually pretty strict on the things you can do. Like, you're not allowed to use specific characters, too. Like, goblins and worgens and things like that that came out after Burning Crusade. Can't use them. So. <gasps> the Commander Lounge, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. I butchered my way through that one. <laughs> Glad you're liking the stream tonight. Players are deciding up their keeps or mulligans now. I just think they liked your WoW talk. That's that must have been it. Yeah. They're like, oh man, this guy's talking about WoW while we're waiting to decide who wins between Dredge and Storm. Yeah. Seems great. Canal into a Serum Visions draw draws an opt. Frexian perfection. Stop it. <laughs> Do you see the uh, serum that was in that deck? Was it the regular ones? I can't remember if I put it in this one or that one. I think this is the regular ones. Oh, darn. I gotta switch it up then, huh? Why? Oh, there it is. The best one. <laughs> Not, though. <laughs> Alright, so here's what I'm hoping for. Like, a neonate or something for Jason on turn one to really, like, get things going. You had me at Storm. <laughs> I like it. I don't know what he just played. I don't but know. Both but the players drew a bunch of cards. Oh, like it, it, oh is that that? Uh, it's the. Um, <laughs> you draw a bunch of cards and then you. Discard a bunch of cards? It's at random. Cool. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So Calvin's at eight cards. Burning Inquiry. Thank you. Nice. Draw three, discard three, random. Wow, so a bunch of lands got discarded for Calvin. That's not good. No. Get rid of that land. Get rid of... Ooh. Yes, please put that conflagrate <laughs> into my graveyard. Thank you. Also, that oh, bomb gas. No. Sweet. Man, Ooh. if there was ever a card that benefits the dredge deck, Burning Inquiry would be it. What's your card? Opt. Hop for that land. Draws a land. Plays a land. Gemstone Mine. Blood Gas Triggers. Landfall Trigger. Oh, it's a signed one. Ooh. Escalating. Seems fine. Deal two to you, I'll gain two. Then I gotta look at your hand and discard an instant or sorcery. Uh, so two rituals, gifts. Uh, yeah, okay. Buy, buy gifts. gifts. Like, yeah. You can keep your rituals and your two creatures. Sure, please. Ritual it out. Well, I just drew a grape shot. Um, Alright. Brawl, Chief of Compliance. Yep. He says, do I have anything to dredge? Nope. And we'll shoot that down by discarding these three cards. Yep. Come at you for two. Puts Calvin to 16. Mana Confluence. Landfall Trigger. Here's two more. Back from the grave. I feel the Storm deck is just kind of like... Running up a really steep hill. He Yeah. Like, alright, so he plays Goblin Electromancer here. Then passes over. Next turn, you know, he can start doing his mana stuff. 
but he doesn't have, like, he's got a grape shop, but he doesn't have, like, any big dread stuff. And, oh, two damage to that. Kill that off. Well, here's the Serum Visions. Give me a land, not a land. Uh, yeah, there wasn't a land in there, so then he'll slide a hand. There we go, got a land. Oh, I missed the six damage that came across off of these guys. Noxious Revival. Okay, so... Yeah, definitely decided by the Inquirer. You guys are right. Yeah, like, losing those land drops was kind of too much. So, like, he's got rituals and stuff, and he can start trying to do that, and he'll be like, all right, I'll generate, you know, three red here. Storm count one. Storm count two. There's a land... I think if he's trying to just go off as much as he can here, like, even if he shoots everything down, boom, 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 boom. Like, all he has to do is play land. All he does is play land because Calvin's below 10 life. They have haste. Right. Ta-da! We got it. Ooh. Dredge. Pretty good. Grape shot is so bad against a dredge deck. Yeah, like you need that, like exile effects. Yeah, I think. Yeah, he was just on the back foot that entire time. Mm -hmm. Even in that first game, it just did not feel fair. No. For the storm player, which you don't say often. <laughs> just FYI, mm -hmm. you don't say that often. But four rounds down, one round to go. Uno mas. Let's see what we got here. Final round of the night, guys. Ba, 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 ba. I, I don't know if it's exactly control. I don't know if it's... 